party. I believe in it as well. I'm probably the least known of your nine uh, constitutional officers other than the fact that I'm the guy on the gas pump. I went around for the first three months and they kept saying Hughes Lucky doesn't have an opponent. So the first thing I had to do was convince GOP leadership that I did have an opponent. Uh, Y'all keep sending them from Richland County. In 2006, my opponent came from Richland in 2010. As, a, uh, as uh, Joan said, a, a younger opponent. Well, I have just the opposite. Mr. Elliott's uh, quite adva advanced in his years and uh, probably is not qualified to, to serve in this office. And that's the nicest way I can put it. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about teamwork in the Department of Agriculture. Let's talk about farmers markets. Everybody always wants to talk about that. Joan can remember when we moved the market, that, that dreaded thing that I fifteen million dollars back to the state budget in 2008 that had already been approved for the project. I took what can only be described as a very politically risky move, uh, just you know, reference the state newspaper, I guess, but very physically sound. So I was put my decisions up against any uh, criticism. So the Department of Agriculture has been a good team for the state. Managing, what do you expect from anybody who stands up here? You expect accountability and good efficiency and a good business approach to helping manage our team called the state of South Carolina. I took the initiative to combine back office enterprises that we do with the treasurer's office. We went from having five or six people involved in human resources. Uh, with the treasurer, now we have two doing it. I've mentioned it to Curtis uh, Loftus that we think there are more things we can do that doesn't affect the mission of anybody's agency, <laughs> but it certainly affects the efficiency. So we, I think we bring these type of things, we enhance this team that we call South Carolina. Now let me tell you why you should be interested in who your Commissioner of Agriculture is. South Carolina's economy cannot live strictly on the Boeings, the BMWs, the, the urban economies that seem to be faring better. The weakest link in South Carolina's economy is our rural economy. I, as your Commissioner of Agriculture, with the primary mission of enhancing the agricultural industry, it is the ag industry that will bring our rural economies along. We see a world of potential in the local food movement that you hear so much about. We see a world of potential in alternative energy production down in the I-95 corridor. We see a world of potential in partnering with the state ports to export our crops to the world. So for the next 10 years, we've announced initiatives that by the year 2020, agriculture could have a, agribusiness could have a $50 billion impact on our economy without raising taxes, just by generating more dollars in our economy through agricultural commerce. So why should you care who is your commissioner of agriculture? Because you gotta have somebody that knows what they're doing. And I think I do, I am an old, Redneck farmer from Orangeburg County with a little bit of business sense, so we bring both of those together. My partner, my partner, my opponent, my partner's Blanche, who uh, most of y'all just look around and say, where's Blanche? Why'd you come by yourself? But anyway, she is, uh, I wish she was in Charleston, I think. Um, so, I'm going to ask you to be on my team. I didn't bring any signs because I'm in my state truck. What I'd like you to do is, if you are near Adlu Flower, uh, Jack Edgerton has plenty of few weather signs. If by next week, you can at least put them near the pole. Because, I want to carry Richland County because I'm tired of them sending Democratic opponents to challenge me. So let's uh, get out there and be on the good team.